you guys and gals, it's me George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man, and I have a project here on my bench that I'm working on. This is for the Shade Tree Railroad, and as you can see, this is, uh, well, I think you can discern what it is. This is a railroad uh, tunnel portal, and I'm making it myself out of a piece of styrofoam. It was too thick, so I shaved it down. And I've cut it to fit the uh, the end of the tunnel. And I have been drawing in, I think you can probably see, I've been drawing in the stones and the stonework going around and the larger, uh, um, oh yeah, plinth blocks or uh, whatever you would want to call these things. These would have, these would have been not marble, but probably granite blocks down here, and then this is just uh, field stone and stuff like that on top. And uh, I all I have done to lay this out was using a ruler like this, and uh, then the stones themselves, I've just been drawing them in by hand, like this. And I don't really need to fill this in because this is going to be back in underneath another piece of track and the scenery is going to come down in here. But I thought what I would do is, uh, I've got this part done, I thought I would take you along on the trip with me as I experiment with the coloring. Uh, I tried this once before. This is one I made for the opposite end of the portal. And it came out pretty nice actually. Uh, but I made a major boo-boo and I used spray paint on this, regular enamel spray paint, and it chewed up, it ate into my um, styrofoam. So I'm going to try this again. This time, instead of using spray paint, I'm going to use some brush paint and uh, I'm using some acrylic which is water-based, and it won't uh, it won't bother the uh, yeah it won't bother the foam. At least I don't think it will. So I'm just going to try a little bit here. I've I've never used this kind of acrylic paint before. I don't know how it'll work out. And I'm just going to paint it over the whole thing here. This is. Uh, called pewter gray. It was about the closest I could come up with to something that would be similar to cement and uh, stone and like that. And I'm just gonna let's see let's see right off the bat there's gotta be a better way than just squirting it out of the bottle for yourself. And what we're gonna do afterwards after this dries a little bit is uh, put some washes on to bring out the joints between the stone and uh, weather it down some. And you can see the stone even with just the gray put on there. You can see the stone color and the detail of the stone is beginning to show up a little bit more. Okay. Now uh, it's mostly dry. I used a hair dryer on it to uh, get it to the point it's at now. And uh, so we're going to try a little bit of this pre-mixed wash, black wash. And kind of, like it says on the bottle, you kind of let it flow over it. You know, I've used this kind of stuff on the chrome, chrome stuff before to fill in the voids, but I'm not sure about this. This is trial and error for me. I haven't done this before. So, I'm learning right along with you. Okay, we'll get out the hair dryer and dry that up a little bit. One thing, uh, stone is not all uniform in color like that. 
Uh, let's see what we can do to, to enhance the colors and vari variations of these stone. This really isn't a how to. This is a maybe it will end up being how not to. Put some paint on your palette. And you get most of it off your brush as I understand it. It's kind of high like the stones, very lightly. It's kind of bringing out the texture a little bit more. I don't know. What do you guys think? So I'll have to wait until we get it actually get it in place and see what it looks like. Just a little bit dark in the middle, and that's what we wanted. I'm kind of liking it. Well, let's take it down and uh, we'll put it on the layout and see how it looks in place. We don't have the layout is not. Got the scenic work done on it yet, but perfect chance to take a look at it. Well, here we are with it down in place, and uh, as you can see, the scenic work around it is not finished off at all. Just working at it. Um, got some mountains going on here. Still got a lot of work to do. That's actually going to be a um, aqueduct going across the top of the railroad there. But then we're interested in our tunnel portal. So what do you think? Maybe it needs a little bit more. I'll look at the pictures. I can probably tell better in the pictures.